Okay, so this video is going to go over one of the most basic and fundamental movements of ballet, but it can be pretty confusing to beginners because it requires a lot of coordination. It's called pas de bourre. So what is pas de bourre? Pas de bourre is a sideways step in which one foot crosses in front or behind the other. Today we're going to practice crossing in front. So just practice stepping to the side, crossing in front. Step to the side, cross in front. Step to the side, cross in front. Now as you do this, I actually want you to start counting in threes in your head because pas de bourre is done in three steps. Start with your feet together as one. When you pick up the front foot, that's two. And when you transfer your weight, that becomes three. Okay, so you should have a little bit of a one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Why am I having you do this in threes? Well, first, let's just watch a pas de bourre and see if you can figure out what's going on here. Can you see where we're counting? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so let's break it down. What's going on? On one, the back foot comes up. On two, you replace it. You pick up the front foot. Three is that step to the side and you cross in front. So we have one, two, three. Back foot comes up, front foot comes up, front foot comes up, and it's down, up, up. Plie back foot comes up, Relevé front foot comes up, side step front foot down, up, up. Now this looks a little bit similar to another step that's also done in threes, and this step is called balancé. And it's easy to confuse the two, but if you take a look, they're actually pretty different. Balancé crosses in back, and it's usually more of a bouncier up and down rather than side to side. So one, two, three. One, two, three. We still have the three steps, but it's not the same as pas de bourre. So let's just keep working on this pas de bourre step. One, two, three. This is pas de bourre. Now we also have something called tombe pas de bourre. Tombe means to fall. So all this means is your pas de bourre starts with a fall on one. You fall away from your body. And you absolutely have to learn this because this sets you up for turns and jumps and everything else. This must be in your back pocket if you want to do ballet. Tombe is to fall away from your body. And you finish it with the rest of the movement. Pas de bourre. And it's still done in threes. Watch. Tombe is on one. One, two, three. Tombe on one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so just to recap, if you're going to practice a pas de bourre at home, the most basic thing you can do is practice crossing in front when you step to the side. So step side, cross front. Step side, cross front. And when you do this, count in threes. Right? Because this is your one, two, three. One, two, three. Back foot, front foot, front foot. So go over this, rewind it, pause it, play it over and over again, practice at home. If you can count in threes, you can become really good at this. Good luck.